That's why not only because it's, 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 it's my baby, no? Hi, my name is Daniel. Today, we will talk about patching Oracle Grid infrastructure and DataGuard. So with me here today, I have Ludovico, the product manager for DataGuard. Hi, Ludovico. Hi, everyone. Hi, Daniel. What do you think is important when you patch uh, grid infrastructure or the database when you also have DataGuard? Yeah, so um, when you have DataGuard, there are a couple of things that are really important. Uh, the first one is uh, um, make sure that, or consider at least that you disable fast start failover. So if you are patching the standby database uh, and then you have a failure on the primary, you are in a situation where the server doesn't know anymore what to do. Um, so that might be a consideration. And then also if you decide to patch the primary for whatever reason, also the sequence and the way that you used to do the shutdown of the primary database might influence uh, how fast start failover reacts to it. So it's better to disable fast start failover for the time of the maintenance and re-enable uh, after it. And um, thinking about that, what happened when you uh, shut down the standby database is that you leave your primary database temporar temporarily without protection. So it might be a good idea uh, maybe to have you know, a couple of standby databases. So why you patch um, one standby database, you can configure the other one as a fast start failover target. So in that case, you don't even require to, to disable fast start failover because you have a second standby database that can still be the fast start failover target. Uh, yes, well, I mean, you want to have a second standby database for many reasons. Maybe you want to run in maximum protection mode. That means that if uh, your standby is not available, your primary will just stall because you want to have the maximum protection. So that is a requirement to have two standby databases in case of max protection. But even with max availability, as I said, you can have maintenance on one standby database and use the other one. And also, if you if you use Active Data Guard, by the way, yes, I, <laughs> I recommend to use Active Data Guard again. Uh, there are many reasons why, not only because it's, it's, it's my baby, you know? um, uh, but maybe you are offloading a lot of work on the standby database. And uh, if you want to patch that database where you are offloading, uh, maybe you don't want to, to move everything to the primary database during, uh, uh, during the patching. So you can just move the service to the second standby database and keep reading from there. Um, so returning to, uh, to Active Data Guard. Mm -hmm. uh, so imagine that you need to patch your standby side. Mm -hmm. uh, you can either do it in a rolling manner or to bring down the entire standby side and then patch everything at once. Uh, but I guess that's not a good idea if you have Active Data Guard where you have read-only services relying on the standby database. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We start you know, with the premise that because we are patching grid infrastructure, we have a real application cluster database. So your consideration is good. Uh, if you have multiple instances, uh, you might want to patch everything at once. And the main reason for doing that is that you reduce your maintenance windows by a lot because you do all the nodes in parallel and you have, you don't have all the cluster configurations uh, for each node. So if you have to do that one node at a time, it might take uh, several hours to do a full patching, because it might take a few minutes to do all the cluster at the same time. Uh, but yeah, if you have um, a read-only service running, and if you don't have um, a second standby database, you can either do rolling patching on uh, one node at a time on the standby side, or depending on how much workload you are offloading to the standby database, you might think of um, starting the read-only service on the primary database, and uh, let's say you overload a bit, a little bit the primary database while you're patching the standby database. So yeah, it depends. Yeah, we're talking about read-only services, so transparent application failover would be enough. Uh, of course, there is a technology that is, um, you know, it's solid, but it's also old. Today we have many other uh, technologies that can that can help um, for better, uh, let's say, handling of uh, failing transactions, so application continuity, uh, and especially session draining. So session draining, I think, is the top one uh, technology that that uh, customers should implement to have um, a smoothless patching experience. 
uh, because whenever you relocate services, if you have proper session training, uh, it will be first, it will be fast to stop the service and have all the session relocated. And second, you don't need to have any uh, handling of, uh, of uh, failed transactions because when you have a disconnection, you have to handle uh, a transaction that maybe was in progress. So that is not the case for uh, read-only services. You could survive with transparent application continuity, but I mean, you should really aim for application continuity because it can do so much more, I guess. So you can survive with transparent application failover, but either transparent application continuity or application continuity are the two uh, technologies that we recommend in general when, when, you, when you develop with Oracle uh, database. So whatever application you have, make sure um, that the application behave correctly when you do when you stop a service or when you do a switch over, for example. And it's really important to do an assessment. So this is also another um, big point. It doesn't matter if it's a real application cluster or data guard or both. Um, you need to make sure that if you have a critical application, it can survive uh, or tolerate or at least behave properly in case of um, of uh, you know a service allocation. Well, cool. Thanks for those pointers. Uh, I'm sure it'll make my patching experience uh, so much easier. Thanks for taking okay. the time to go. Thank you.